it's me again, the bold, beautiful, your host on In Between I Extend. So it's a special episode today. I have my girls in the house. Girls talk. We are going to talk about a lot of things. Can you actually keep a man to yourself? Hmm. They are going to help us out here today. Hey, Krista, how are you doing today? Good, how are you guys? I'm very fine. And you? I am Jay. Mm-hmm. Very happy to be on the show. Okay. Yeah, thanks, thanks for having for us. us. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is that all you're going to say about yourself? Like, oh, I love cats. <laughs> you see? <laughs> That's all. I feel like my life is very uninteresting. School work. That's it. I feel Honestly. like I like cats more than men sometimes. Really? <laughs> oh, Christopher. Oh, Christopher. No, cats are better. I'm sure. I'm right? Sure. Yeah. I know. I know. So right now we're going to be talking about how can you actually keep a man to yourself? Do you think you can keep a man to yourself, Crystal? I think it uh, <laughs> depends on the day, you know. Depends on my mood. It's different for different situations and different partners, you know. And in this world, it's 2019, there's a lot of new things coming up. Mm-hmm. So what do you think? I feel like that's a very broad question. Mm-hmm. I don't think... Okay. I feel like you cannot keep a person that does not want to be kept or that's not open to being kept, Ooh, you yeah. know. So it's up to, you can do things to influence that decision on their part, Mm -hmm. but I don't think you can make that decision for them. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, which is true. So you can just force anyone to be with you if they're oh, not definitely ready not. to. Yeah, yeah, I feel like no matter what you do, if he doesn't want to stay, he will not stay. Right? He will, <laughs> you know, he will still do things that make you feel like he doesn't want to be there, no matter how good you are. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Hmm. So let's talk about plastic surgeries. Can you <laughs> actually go extra miles, get a new bob, <laughs> your bob, just yes. to satisfy man? To that question, I'm going to say, hell no. Because my body, my choice... Mm-hmm. You can't tell me what I should look like. Like, if you don't like me how I am already, then why? Like, that means why you don't love me enough. enough. Exactly. Yeah, I feel like um, in a relationship, I feel like you you can do plastic surgery if that's what yes. you want as an yeah. individual, not because that's what he wants. Yeah. Because that's him turning in, you into something that you're not. Yeah. So if that's an idea that you're open to, then... Why not? Guys. And then if, if, if you're not open to it, don't uh-huh. do it. Right? right? I would not do it. Guys, yeah. guys, you know we do crazy things when we're in love, right? True. Right. That is so like, true. Like, when we're crazily in love, we want to do everything to satisfy this guy. Yeah. It's like, do so you like, think if you're in love, you can do that? No. Um, I'll right, do other love. things. Mm-hmm. Maybe not plastic surgery. Mm. Maybe like I got a little tattoo with the matching tattoo, but that's another thing. Like, do you cover I it? Can, I, I can't even do it. I can't get no. a tattoo for nobody. No. Yeah. No. Would you get the surgery? No. No. <laughs> so, no. Maybe I wouldn't do that either. But I've seen a lot of girls doing that just because they want to keep a man, not yeah. because they don't want to keep a guy. You You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So I, I don't think I can do. I don't think I can do any of that. To, I, you can't even keep a man because I don't know. I don't what know. What if you guys break up? Then do you reverse it? Or oh, what? what? You know? I feel like that's another. Um, I feel like you get a goal going ahead to get surgery because someone wants you to get it. Mm-hmm. Well, even I feel like for you to be able to go to a hospital and say, I want surgery, yeah. and you know it's because someone asked you to, you have to be able to have low self-esteem. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then True. after you get it, I feel like it gets worse because, you know, it's, yeah, I just feel like it gets worse. Your self-esteem will drop yeah. even lower than it was before you did it. And I feel like I've watched like too much Grey's Anatomy that it tells me <laughs> if it's not yourself that wants to do it, if it's like another person, a third party telling you what mm-hmm. they want and then you doing the changes in your within your body, mm-hmm. I think the doctors would know and they would like ask you to reconsider it. And that's what's on Grey's Anatomy. They're like, mm, you should Yeah, there's a lot of it. questions. Yeah. 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 It's a good thing that they don't just let you yeah. go ahead. Not mm-hmm. just the money, you know. Yeah. Not just the money. So they want to know if you really, really want yeah. it or because yeah. you want and it or because one it. guy wants it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you have to give them very good reasons before they go ahead and perform the surgery. Yeah. Hmm. Let's talk about the crazy one right now. Rigorous sex to keep him man. Can you do that? <laughs> what does that mean? Like the same position, like boring and stuff? Do you mean? Yeah, what like if mean? it's boring, you're trying to change your position, learn new styles, and all of those <laughs> things just to keep him. Maybe he's the crazy one. <laughs> I just feel like if we are a partner that are very deeply in love and that we actually respect each other enough, that mm-hmm. I would 
oh, I would like open a conversation with them, have an open conversation and talk to them about it. It might hurt their ego a little bit. It might hurt mine too. But it's um, very important to be honest about it. And if you, if there's communication, mm -hmm. then you can improve everything. So mm -hmm. if they think it's fine, but you don't think it's fine, then like you should just improve it. I see it. you. I see you, Jay. No, no, you no, no, have no, no, something no. to say. <laughs> I, I, feel, I, I totally agree with you. I feel like yeah. it's a matter of communication. Yeah. So you have to, you have to be able to. What's the word? I forgot the word, but you kind of have to like knit in the middle. Yeah. So I mean, you can't overdo it and just do crazy stuff. But then you have to communicate and say, oh, look, this is probably, maybe this is what I like. How do yeah. you feel about it? And they tell you how they feel. And you guys, you know, find out. I think it's very, very ground. important to agree on sex. Because you, you don't want your partner to be, you want them to enjoy. Yeah. Consent At the same key. time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Consent yeah, oh, yeah, key. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> like, I, I don't want to be boring. I don't want to be boring. Yeah. And at the same time, I want us to balance it out. Even yeah. in marriages, in any relationships, out, you need to balance it out. Mm -hmm. You don't want to be boring on your bed. Like, no. You get For what like I'm trying 30, to say? 50 years? Yeah. <laughs> no, no. Right, no. right. Yeah, yeah, and I feel like, I don't know if this is so overgeneralized, but men are, men are very adventurous. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you just got to talk about it. Mm -hmm. Talk to each other and, you know, see if you can find a common ground. Mm -hmm. Meet halfway or... <laughs> You know, or you just go all the way for them, or you mm -hmm. know, just talk about it. Mm -hmm. Can you end the relationship because it's demanding too much, or maybe a marriage? Because can you demanding too much of what? <laughs> in bed? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I maybe think... it's too much, and maybe you've tried to. Okay, okay. Let's say maybe they say I want to do a threesome. I would. I am not, not interested in that. I'm not going to do that. I would not nobody. do that. Yeah. But there's some men that would do that. So that is too much for me. I don't think, I don't see myself yeah. doing that. So for example, using your thing, like if they ask for a threesome, mm -hmm. I said no, then like that's still okay. I would, mm -hmm. you know, go on with the relationship regularly. But if once in a, like one time he brings in a third person in without my consent, without me knowing, mm -hmm. and then like the third person just join in, then that I would not be okay yeah, with. Yeah, that's if I the boundaries, that, yeah. Yeah. That is, and that that that's might be actually the beyond the fantasy. Then that's something yeah. else. Like, yeah, didn't anyone to come join you on your bed now? Yeah, right. <laughs> or even yeah, anything else. Do I don't that. agree. <laughs> no, people <laughs> do that. Yeah, it's it's crazy. I know there is. I feel like, and you know, the men will always invite another female. It's not another guy, yeah, right? <laughs> no, I mean, I know that. I don't think, I think that it's is like really right. bad. But yeah, people do that a lot. So that is. Personally, that is too much for me. I cannot handle. Mm -hmm. If we can't meet in the middle and agree on the fact that we're not doing that, mm -hmm. then I, I don't see myself in that equation, honestly. So what if you want it? Um, uh, if I wanted if it, I, then, I wouldn't, want it okay. then I wouldn't end the relationship. Right. It wouldn't be a harmful thing. If I also wanted it, too, mm -hmm. then it wouldn't be harmful when I wouldn't end So if it was a, a mutual yeah. thing mutual. that you mm -hmm. both wanted? Mm -hmm. Then I don't then think fine. that's a problem, you guys. No, you, you bring in a guy, not a lady that's time. Like oh, you want to. You bring a guy. Yeah. I feel like it also uh, it also goes back to uh, communication. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I feel like you have to talk to each other before that happens. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You just can't show up with somebody. Right. And say, hey, me. This you know. Yeah. <laughs> you can't do that. No you know, way. So, I mean. Yeah, you have to talk about it a lot. Mm hmm before that happens. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I feel like people that do that, I, that's crazy, but you know what? Yeah, you got to talk about it first before it happens. Don't just show up. That is very disrespectful. Yeah. And it will not happen, obviously. Like, it probably won't happen if you just show up with somebody unless who, whoever your partner is is very adventurous. Mm -hmm. So, hmm. yeah. So let's talk about a greedy partner. Greedy partner. Self-centered. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. I've met some of those before. <laughs> yeah. Like they just want you to be the one taking care of them, yeah. buying gift, taking them out for dinner and all of those things. Do you think you can stick well, to Well, some people are giver and some people are receiver. It sounds really dirty, you know, but like it's true. I think it should be give and take, right? It shouldn't yeah. be all me doing the giving. It sh or like sometimes, the receiving. let's say the one person is doing all the buying gifts and taking mm -hmm. the person out for dinner. The mm -hmm. other person might be giving back in like an emotional way, way, like yeah. uh, giving, you know, acts of kindness, like taking the garbage out, making dinner, giving him a massage, things mm -hmm. like that. 
you know, so that's give and take. But if it's one sided relationship, like if the one thing is, it, it will never yeah. work. Yeah, it, it will not be work. balanced. Yeah, if it's one sided, then it will never work. Because um, I feel like sometimes maybe the one partner might have the funds too, mm. but the other person might not. So yeah, that they'll help if they're too. helping in whatever way they can. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The other person will see it, so that's okay, right? Mm-hmm. But then if it's oh we're on the same level, but I'm still getting you everything and you're not doing anything, <laughs> yeah. so then then it's no. not gonna yeah. work. Mm-hmm. Mm. Wow, it's been a beautiful time with my girls in the house today, Jay and Krista. Jay, do you have anything to say to your viewers out there? Because I know they want to see you again. Oh, <laughs> oh well, I hope I, think I get to come back. I would love to talk about my relationships. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I think you guys are really fun. So yeah. it would be great to come back again. Yeah. Day, I would day. love to be back again. Honestly, this was fun. Mm-hmm. Nice, to, uh, nice to meet your girls. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I'd love to come back next time. Yeah, thank you Definitely. so much for watching mm-hmm. us today. Please and please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. IBIS Show TV on YouTube, and you can also, uh, <laughs> she's crazy. Yeah. Uh, you, can, <laughs> you can also check me out on Instagram, is IBIS Show TV, one word, and also on Facebook. Do not forget to like, do not forget to comment, and do not forget to click the notification button. We will be right back. Thank you, and bye for now.